my beautiful friends, my name is Maria Khorova and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as some of you may know, I'm a ballet dancer and this thing of reacting to ballet TikToks has been huge here on YouTube, so I decided to give it a go myself. So, that is what we are going to be doing today. So, I dance at the Marinsky and it is known for being a very, very traditional ballet company. So, I'm excited to see the ballet, the viral ballet TikToks actually. And I haven't seen them, so my team just uh, piled them up for me and I haven't, I have no clue what these TikToks are about. So without further ado, let's just dive in. So here's the first thing. So this is ABT's TikTok of entrance of the spawns. Yes, this is beautiful, go ladies! 27 swans. Well, for me, it's one of the most fascinating scenes in ballet. Yes, yes, I know that, yeah, even breathing in unison. Yeah, so for me, actually, this scene is one of the most fascinating scenes in ballet. This white um, act in Swan Lake is literally one of the most perfect acts ever. And it gives me chills when the swans enter the stage. And this is really, you know, I consider it even more magical than the white adagio of Adette and Siegfried because it's really mesmerizing to see as also the entrance of shade in La Bayadere and entrance of the swans in Swan Lake. There's just something about it that is that really creates the magic of the whole ballet. So yeah, go ladies, this looks so beautiful and especially from the wings, which is, you know, I can see why this TikTok went, went really viral. Okay, let's move on. self dot ballerina. Okay, okay, do you think I'm ready for point? Okay, okay. So especially right now, when I'm starting to uh, my, you know, course at Vaganova Academy of master's degree in uh, teaching, it's become much more interesting to see all of the details of uh, dancing and especially in, you know, kids dancing. And I can see, you know, first we really need to teach the basics. And this is why Vaganova method is so well known all around the world and is considered one of the best ballet schools is because it really starts with the very, very, very basics. And it's so boring. For example, we are now learning the methodology of the first grades of Vaganova methodology. And it's literally so boring. Like all of the combinations are super slow and all of the counts are super slow and you're just doing like, one and a two and a three and a four with one leg and one and a two and a three and a four. But that's how we train all of these basics to continue developing into more complex movements. And this is what's, again, magical about the Vaganova training method. And I would say this girl needs to watch more over her clarity of the fifth position and probably she just needs to start with something slower, something more, something easier before going on point. So that's my just personal opinion as a beginner, you know, master of belly methodology. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Looks gorgeous right from the start. Yes, Padre yes, go queen. Wow, yes, wow, 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 wow. This is beautiful. Let me watch it once again. Yes, by the bourree game strong. So this is one of the most you know, challenging but also effective ballet moves. This pas de bourree sous vide across the stage moving. Only the feet are moving, but everything else stays uh, absolutely without any you know, trembling. And it's so, so, so beautiful, especially when ballerina can execute uh, it with the perfect form of the feet and the perfect form of the body. Wow, yeah, really worth. Clapping, great job. Okay, let's go on. Oh, I know what this one gonna be about. Yes, yes, so this is very, very popular belly stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this looks absolutely unhuman, but you know, it's just how belly flexibility basically works. Actually, this position is not that hard. It's just after we've been trained for like eight years at the academy and uh, now we are dancers uh, at the theater, 
uh, yeah, it's just it's just how our belly body works with the turnout. But also in this video in particular, the belly boot that the, the girl is wearing, which the girl is a beautiful ballerina, Jana Gubanova from the Stanislavski Theater in Moscow. She's a gorgeous dancer and she's wearing this belly boot and it is also creating an illusion that her feet are like absolutely unhuman in an unhuman position. So that's what is intensifying the effect even more. But actually I, also do this stretch from time to time and it's really effective especially effective for tiktoks all right what's what do we have next <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Girls, yeah, right <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, everyone gossiping Everyone suspecting something from you Everyone judging, silently judging you Walking into a ballet school definitely creates this illusion Especially now, actually from my personal experience as well I've been out from Vaganova Academy for several years when I was just starting my career at the Mariinsky and now I'm learning to get the master's degree and I've re-entered the academy and the feeling of this pressure of everyone looking at you, you know, like this it kind of came back on a different level but I just started recalling all of these moments when I was feeling super, super pressured because I was thinking that everyone's judging and everyone's looking. And it's, you know, on one hand it is true, but on the other hand, actually, the realization only comes after several years at the theater that it doesn't really matter and just you do you, you go, and nothing else matters. Just the, the goal at the academy is to do everything you can to really learn the basics, to really learn how to dance, and that's all that matters. And then, what path is ready for you after you graduate from the ballet school is the whole other story. So that's what I realized only after I graduated the academy, but I was feeling all of these, you know, eyes all over everyone basically, because everyone knows everyone in the academy and you cannot hide and really everyone's judging. But at the same time, not everyone is judging you in an evil way, you know, it's sometimes it's just um, someone's shy, someone's kind, to you and someone's gonna say something encouraging so it's I mean it's not that bad but partially it's true <laughs> let's move on you are in a cracker right where your sugar plum all right I love the nails <laughs> sure <laughs> all right I think for me personally, every role, I've also come to a realization that every role is interesting and every role is a role. If we all start to really appreciating every role and diving into it, even in the role of the mice, this is the magic that creates the perfect performance. When every artist, when every dancer really immerses into the role and when every dancer is in unison with the storyline of ballet, because every ballet plot, there are not many ballet plots out there, ballet stories out there that, you know, lived through the oh, hundreds of years. For example, Nutcracker, it's it's eternal ballet story that is going to be told in the future for hundreds more years, I hope. And there are not as many of such stories. These stories are magical and they carry massive sense inside them. They carry massive emotion and, you know, so many geniuses really worked on those masterpieces and they carry so much meaning. And when every dancer really Really feels it it really creates something absolutely surreal for the audience so that's my personal opinion once again and yeah well the TikTok is really funny but uh, well I can see the, the, that the girl is super you know she's not upset about it she's just feeling this reality and she's uh, positive about it and that's what I liked about this video okay let's go on Yeah, 
that's what that's what you call creativity. What more do you expect when two belly dancers get married? Belly should be more popular. Belly should be. It used to be, um, you know, something that would you would dance at a uh, at a party. Belly used to be this dance, and I think it deserves to be, you know, danced by ballet dancer at a wedding. Love the creativity, bravo, guys! And I really, really love that this TikTok went went viral because. Well, it looks beautiful, it looks fun, and it looks super disciplined, and why not? So if, if this is what we do, why not show it on TikTok? Why not have fun? What's next? My knee was bothering me this morning. POV, it's time for ballet. I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Right. Not to start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. My eye looks so tired. That's why I was wearing one glasses. Eye? Yeah. Oh God. One eye and is then exhausted. I also have my period. I feel like that slows me down. Right. Um, when you feel unwell, just please do not dance. It's super damaging to your health. It's 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 really really important to have that in mind. But also it's important not to let you know become a habit. First, you really feel pain in your leg at first and you skip a class. Then you kind of think you have uh, that your leg hurts and you think that you will skip as well. And then you just feel unwell. You, you, you went to a party last night and then you skip a class. And then when it creates a habit, when it starts being a habit, it's, it's not a good one because, you know, even to the point, for me, it was always like this when I was feeling, for example, after the plane or after, you know, not sleeping well, sometimes belly class is even helping to feel better. It's almost, like you know doing a little bit of fitness doing a little bit of, a little bit of physical activity to just keep the blood going keep the blood flow pumping and to just you know wake you, yourself up a little bit so sometimes belly class is of a huge help for your health even so you every dancer needs to know individually what's better for him or her and it's our own responsibility, how we treat our body and also how uh, dedicated we are to this form of art. So it's, I think it's the responsibility of each dancer and we decide for ourselves what, what's better for our careers, what's better for us as dancers. But please, 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 please do not ever push yourself super hard and do not dance if you have a lot of pain because it's just going to make it worse, right? <laughs> bonus for creativity. These Grumbo Mons level 1000 are just something. Okay, let me rewatch. Okay, these guys on TikTok are just so creative. Love the soundtrack. This soundtrack is actually a song by Psy with uh, Sugar's uh, participation. It's called That That and it's one of the most fun songs I've ever heard. Most positive and sunny and funny songs that I've ever heard recently. But, you know, I know some dancers that can even do these, you know, super high grump of months without the help of a guy in a green suit, which is so admirable. But these guys are so funny. Yeah, I can see myself uh, scrolling in for hours in TikTok <laughs> watching videos like this. Because, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes there are the days when you feel super down and when you feel like you, like the brain can cannot cope, the, the body cannot cope, and you have like just two options, whether you just sit down and cry for two hours or you can switch your mind a little bit and watch TikToks, which they're creative, they're funny, some of them are really beautiful and you know, I think it's not uh, that big of a deal spending some time there because, you know, again, it can create some ideas in your own head and again, TikTok is just a matter of balance and in little amounts, I think it's just, just a fun thing to do. Ballet dancer is in a nutshell. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Let me pause for a second. Yes, so here's the story. <laughs> I didn't understand for like the longest time when I was at the academy, I didn't understand why the dancers do this one leg, you know, one part of pants up, one leg up and one leg in normal. But just recently, like a couple of months ago, I just did this and I, I 
understood just this one day and understood why is it so it's super unconventional and it's super strange and i don't even know how to explain to you why this works but it works i don't know it's just you know weird mental stuff weird mental constructions uh, that dancers do for example if one part of body feels uneven, if something hurts, if something needs to be corrected, because clothes, they really influence the way I feel my body. For example, if something is tight, I cannot exercise. If something is uh, restricting my movements, I die. And for example, if, if I have tight sleeves in my leotard and if it sits weirdly, it feels like it's pulling some of my muscles up. And if I have tight sleeves, my shoulders are not working the way I expect them to work. So it's really super, super connected, especially at the high level we try to perform. All of the details matter. And this is probably also why we do this one um, leg. Uh, different from another with the pants. So this is like completely true. So let's, let's watch this whole TikTok again. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, fashion, go. Super spy. Super spy, yes! This is so true. Love the sassy attitude though. Yeah, I see myself. I see myself in this video a lot. And hand sanitizing, yes. Sore throat, yes. Um, slippery spot. It's such a huge deal, such a big deal for dancers. This was it for today. It was so much fun. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know maybe you discovered something new. It was really, really fun for me. And if you want, we can continue this series. Yeah, maybe you can send me, DM me on Instagram with your favorite favorite TikToks or Reels and I would be really, really grateful uh, to you and it would be fun to watch. Really cheers to all of the creators for their creativity and for their flow for creating such uh, great videos. And yeah, ballet is, is a gorgeous form of art and I hope you all agree with me today. And on this positive note, let's finish this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already to see more ballet related videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And thank you guys, love you lots and I will see you in the next videos. Bye bye.